announcing today a statewide curfew on the sale of alcohol at restaurants. You heard Governor Cooper say it, enacting a statewide curfew impacting late night alcohol sales starting this Friday. This is happening after several local communities took a similar step in the last several weeks. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Raleigh with more on what Governor Roy Cooper had to say about this just a few minutes ago. Michael. And the governor said the idea behind this is to keep restaurants from functioning as bars late at night. Bars are going to remain closed, which they have been since March. Beginning Friday night, restaurants statewide will not be allowed to serve alcohol after 11 p.m. Violating this is a class two misdemeanor. Alcohol law enforcement and the Alcohol Beverage Control Commission could take action too. Raleigh and Orange County are just two local communities that already ordered alcohol sales to stop early. Governor Cooper said the concern is that at night, some of these restaurants essentially have acted as bars despite all of this. And he pointed to other states like Florida and Texas that have seen COVID-19 cases go up in part because of people congregating in bars. He said he's already concerned with colleges starting classes again soon that students could go to these places, potentially leading to COVID-19 spreading. This is happening as state health officials say our COVID-19 metrics are high, but leveling. As colleges and universities are scheduled to start, bringing people from all over the country to our state. We've seen case numbers increase among younger people, and prevention is critical to slowing the spread of the virus. The governor also commented on President Donald Trump saying he could come to Charlotte after all the week of the Republican National Convention to accept his party's nomination. But Cooper said he has not been contacted by the RNC about this or the Trump administration. Health and Human Services Secretary Dr. Mandy Cohen also said today with many of the state's COVID-19 metrics leveling, she believes that's at least in part a result of the mask mandate going into effect a few weeks ago. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.